What you're looking at here is the leader of the anti-immigration SDS party in Slovenia accepting a big electoral victory just this week. Now this SDS party was labeled nationalistic, Eurosceptic, anti-migrant, all sorts of propaganda hit pieces were published about them, yet they still pulled 25% of the vote coming in first. Now they are all set to replace the current pro-EU Social Democratic Party who is holding office now. Now the slogan they ran under was Slovenia first, which might sound a little familiar if you know anything about American politics. But it's not as odd as you might think because the current first lady Melania Trump is actually from, from Slovenia herself, so I imagine they feel just a little bit of kinship. Now, as stated, the Eurosceptic SDS party pulled in a full 25% of the total vote. And coming in second was another Eurosceptic party, the LMS, with 12% of the vote. And embarrassingly enough, the current government pulled in an astonishingly low 9% of the total vote.
Now, of course, the real problem here is going to be in forming a working government. In total, nine parties won enough votes to have a seat in, in government. This is going to get quite messy. Now, just to illustrate why migrants are such an important topic in this country, you have to understand this is a relatively small country with only 1.7 million eligible voters. Now, just last year, 500,000 migrants passed through the country. That's almost a one to three ratio. That would make anyone nervous, at least I would imagine so. Now, the current president gave the official go ahead for the SDS to go ahead and attempt to form a working government. as if he had a real choice. In fact, listen to this somewhat arrogant quote. Now, I am not obligated to award the mandate to the relative winner of the election, but I will do so because I strongly believe in democracy. I mean, that's pretty, pretty pompous. In addition to the anti-migrant sentiment, there's also a massive anti-EU sentiment, which worries many, particularly because the SDS party has strong ties to Hungary's Viktor Orban. And now we all know Hungary, they are one of the few countries to assert their national rights against this unelected bureaucracy that is the EU. Thank <laughs> you.